What's going on, football fans? Welcome back to another episode of Breaking the Birds. Uh, I think it's a good time that we check in on Jordan Malata because I, th- I see there's a lot of, uh, of of people down on him and comments about him here and there uh, that somewhat makes sense, but a lot of times really doesn't. Uh, so I think we should should go through the tape here and see what is working for him, what isn't working for him here from the dream, uh, game against the Packers. Good rep here, working as a defensive tackle. Going to go with kind of a, of a tick scheme here with the inside guy comes in first. Preston Smith going to loop inside. Good communication here between Lent and, and uh, Malata. Look at the footwork here from Jordan as he's taking him on here. Quick, quick replacing of the hands, driving your feet. Really well done here. Good communication with the, between the two of them. Makes it look natural. Perfect. All right, so here on a third down scramble from, from Hertz. Uh, not something that is going to affect the play, but we're going to see something here that is going to affect the, the the game a little bit later here with Malata. And that is when he believes that the edge has to cl- uh, that the defensive end has to clear it to the edge and that he is oversetting a little bit uh, upfield as the uh, the end is trying to get the edge there. So here Preston is going to take wide up steps here. So relevant job from from uh, from from Jordan of of getting depth in his steps instead here. So he's setting up a little bit deep. Then right here. When Preston is clubbing away the hands of Malata, he is fully declaring to that side and and kind of, of of rotating his hips in a way that he can drive him upfield as he's continuing to go to the edge here so he doesn't win that. The problem here is that the inside hand of Preston is going to be shoving away Malata because he's going to use that momentum that Malata is, is generating by going too much upfield. And so when he cuts back right here, he's going to have a little bit better um, uh, inside leverage or good inside leverage to get to the quarterback. Now here it doesn't affect anything because Hurts escapes out the pocket. But that is not going to be the case always, and we're also going to see that a little bit later with the same kind of technique and where you think you you know what the defensive end is going to the edge. Uh, actually, uh, instead, he, he counter moves inside, and that can cost the inside uh, leverage. Split zone here. So basically, the only rule for Malata is that he has to go up to the defensive tackle and help when Diggers not with him, and then release up to the second level. As you can see, Quay Walker is going outside here. He would be the guy who would be releasing up to, but as he's going out, he's going to transition over there to find him instead. And so that is a beautiful gap for Miles Sanders to uh, to be able to hit if he were uh, was to to select that one. Now also, uh, Kelsey is getting really good push on the defensive tackle here as well, there, and transitioning up to the linebacker. So nothing against Miles Sanders there, but a good job by, Mal- by Malata of reading and, and assisting a powerful punch there on the defensive tackle. So on left, working against uh, Preston Smith here. And really what is only like what is the most important part here is that he needs to get his hands on the outside of, uh, of Preston and then just continue to hold on and keep him right square in front of him. He does that perfectly. Preston never has any chance on there. Big time block here from Malata on this uh, QB power where we are going to be pulling uh, from the backside here. Two guys. And so it's crucial that Malata stalls up the defensive tackle right here as these guys are coming out. And he more than does that. Look at that push. He gets a 90 here. Moves him a couple yards. Good, strong take on him. Nice hat placement. Lower than 90 wins. Good job here on the power from Jordan Malata. We're going to have Lane Johnson uh, pulling here. He's going to be the lead blocker from Los Angeles. So we'd like uh, Jordan to be kick out blocking here on Preston Smith and kind of remove him from that side. So when Lane Johnson is going to be pulling over here, then we have the gap right there from Los Angeles. And so it's crucial that Jordan Malata doesn't give up the inside to Preston. And he does that really well here. So when Preston is spinning, he gets another contact on him right there. And that is going to be securing the touchdown. Just enjoy this rep here from Jordan Malata. Um, so this time here, we're going to an, another power. But he's, he's going to be backside blocking once again here. So we've got down blocks from the rest of the guys here, and he's going to be taking on the backside. So we do have Lane Johnson as the um, as the lead blocker coming out here for, for the second level defender in Quay Walker. And take a look at my, at, at Joe Malata here as he's taking on the, the defensive end. Has his arms placed on both sides of him. Replace the hands and then just drive him downfield. Take him for a good, what, 10, 15 yards here? Leaves a lot of space right there in the B gap so that Lane Johnson can hit that. Perfect. All right, working in pass protection against 47 here. Tries to like a delay bull rush, so stall a little bit, and then just try to hammer as much as he can there for Malata. It, it doesn't get anything anything going, really. Good footwork from Malata, good hand placement. Another good... Uh, uh, down block here in zone. So we're in zone left, so he will be reaching out for the guy out here in 47. First off, get the hand placement, and then drive the feet afterwards. 
can't really fault um, a lot of for 47 giving up on the play and trying to act as if there's a holding instead of playing football. But he's doing everything he can here, Malata. That is perfectly fine. Here on the mass, max protection rep, Malata's going to be sliding to his right side here, taking over the, def the defensive tackle in a single block. No issue at all. Good hand placement. Move the feet. And down here at the two-yard line, trying to with a, with a uh, zone right here, Malata taking on the defensive tackle. Initially, the push stalls to both of them. Then Malata just pushes him back into the end zone afterwards. Good power. Power of the time, we're going to have both Isaac and Lane pulling to the opposite side. Important for Jordan Malata to be sealing off the inside here. As Jack Stahl is taking on the, the going up to the second level. And look at the job Malata does here of sealing everything back inside. No room for 95 to get anywhere in close to that. Good job here relating to uh, to 47 on his pass rush here. So notice him here, he's out in the wide nine. But his first step is going to be a little bit inside shaded right here for Malata. So there's no reason to take any kick steps here. Good angle on him. Takes him on, plays the hands. Good technique. All right, so this is the one I was talking about where uh, when you think you have the defensive end um, declaring to the edge here, uh, you don't want to be, before that point, you don't want to be oversetting too much to the outside because then they can use your weight against you to to um, to push you even further outfield and they can get the inside leverage there. I think what is confusing a lot of here, or what is at least distracting him, is that he is first... He's assisting up on the on the defensive tackle right here. Then when you're assisting on someone on the inside and you want to go out there and catch somebody on the outside, you have a tendency to move a little bit more upfield and to, to step uh, a little bit more upfield than what you would actually like. And so the defensive end uses that momentum the same way we saw it with Preston Smith and runs down to Jalen Hurts there for the sack. It's a much better job right here against Preston Smith. Really well angle here, uh, taken on to a point where... where there's no obvious um, obvious route for, for Preston to take. The one hard kick step, because Preston is taking one hard step up, then he stalls, you stall. You get a good uh, angle on him, good hand placement, good rep. And this is what it's supposed to look like when you know the defensive end is declaring to the edge right here. See, here he's in full control. He's not turned, like he's turned 90 degrees from, from, from where he started out, so perpendicular to his, to his starting position. And so after that, he can grab... Uh, a hold of Preston as he's going upfield and then drive him upwards instead of before where he had his hips turned 100 to 110 degrees because then you can get pushed upfield instead without being in balance to take on that counter move. Good rep. Another good rep here displaying exactly what we were, what we were talking about and what happened in the first rep. So here taking relevant steps with Preston. Right now Preston hasn't declared to the outside. He's still perpendicular to the line right here. And then he declares, you turn your hips and drive him upfield. Good rep. Taking a uh, bull rush here from 47. This time a little bit more of a, of a, of a steep up upfield angle from him to begin with. So two steps is taken. Gets caught a little bit there, planting his left foot as he's taking on the, the bull rush right here. But sets the anchor well right here and stops the momentum. Like a little bit of push right here uh, on... Um, on this rep, we've got uh, power, but we're zone blocking for we're everybody except for the puller and Lane Johnson. There's nobody there to that side of Malata. The defensive tackle is, is stunting inward, so he needs to get up to Quay Walker. He does get up to him well there, but needs to get a little bit better for punch in, or at least get a hold of him as he's getting up there to the second level. Because he barely just you know, punches him one time uh, and then can make the tackle afterwards. And the, the whole play in itself is a, is a success, but we're always looking for those things that can, can create extra yardage and can put Miles Sanders in a better position, or the running back in a better position, that will be holding up Quay so he can't you know, shoot inside here. Then it'll be a much better, a bigger gap for Miles Sanders to run through. Another terrific kickout block here on Preston Smith uh, with the power here. Um, Lane Johnson coming out here as the lead blocker. Malata, really good job here of sealing off the outside. Lane John uh, excuse me, Jason Kelsey goes to the second level, and it's a highway for Miles Sanders. Again, terrific job here. And Preston Smith is not a bad player. Let's just keep that in mind. Uh, but here, just basic zone left. It's going to go outside. Uh, with the double team working in here with Lanton and Kelsey. Kelsey moves up to the second level. Malata seals off the outside beautifully. Big game. Needs to be a little bit more aware here uh, when, of the stunt that the Packers are sending here. So going with the talk game. Uh, excuse me. The um, the yeah the talk game here. So the outside guy is going to go in first. That is what Malata is relating to. He's he's uh, assisting Lanton Diggerson right there. But then the outside, oh, excuse me, the inside guy who's coming out afterwards, he is a little bit more untouched. Now, I do see the issue here because Landon Dickerson isn't getting enough steps where he can take on Preston Smith. So, as he's coming in there, he's already behind Landon Dickerson. So, if Malata just lets go of him, 
then 90, uh, then um, Preston wouldn't be blocked by, by Lightning Dickerson at that point. Um, so you can argue that he does take on the most, most dangerous, but of these two guys, like Lightning and Malata in combination, they need to sort this out a little bit better. Otherwise, that's going to lead to a sack at some point. Good play by Hertz. Really nice job here on the read power. Um, Malata's going to be the lead blocker here for Jalen Hurts. This is coming out. Lent Diggerson kicks out Preston Smith. Jordan Malata comes up and hits Quay Walker and create a, a good run for, for Jalen Hurts. All right, so a slide right for the offensive line here. Jordan Malata taking on the backside guy. Miles Sanders will be responsible for blocking anybody here in the B gap, maybe uh, be blitzing. So we have uh, Jordan Malata here in a one on one situation against 47. This time again here, oversetting a little bit upfield. <coughs> Let's take a look at the steps here. So on a wide nine position for the uh, for 47. Malata getting a little bit of a too steep angle on him right here. And with all that uh, space to the inside, of course, 47 is going to go inside there. But as he gets beat there, good job by counter moving that of continuously pushing him inward and, and basically allowing Jalen Hurst to take one step out. And then he's free. Read option. So offensive line zone block into the right side. Defensive tackle here in the three technique is going to be stunting inside. So he's going to go inside of, of Lane Diggerson. That means Jordan Malata has to go up to the second level here for the linebacker. And this is a good physical nasty play. First off, the nice punches he's getting there. First getting him turned, and then just driving him backward. Love to see it. Hits a play here by Malata. So running a power uh, to the right side. And what we're hoping is all of these guys here are going to be down blocking. Jason Kills can release up to a linebacker, and John Malato will be the lead blocker going over to Quay Walker. The problem is that Isaac Zamal gets beat badly right off the snap. So Malata has to kind of compensate for, for his mistake and go for him instead because he is most dangerous at that point to make the tackle. And then you'd be hoping that my, that Isaac Zamal will be going for Quay Walker instead. Now he doesn't. He does only barely gets up at this point. Good job of Milo Sanders making the guys miss and making this a positive play. And that is why it is super important that Malata, instead of just, you know, uh, going straight for his assignment, which is the linebacker there, then actually you know, changes his plans on the way and actually takes out the defensive tackle instead because then it's a one-on-one -on -one with Miles Sanders. Otherwise, he has two guys in the gap. Really good job here against Preston Smith. And exactly what we've been, been talking about here a couple of times now throughout this game is when he is declaring here, he's going upfield, straight upfield, straight upfield. Good angle. He's taking him on right here. He wants to declare to the edge. He's in a perp Malata's in a perpendicular line to him right here. Not susceptible to the outside of all. Preston crosses his face, and when he does that, he can flip his hips and drive him upfield instead. Good rep. So overall, uh, massive contributor in the running game. Uh, a little bit of things that, that can always be worked on there in pass protection. Those things like consistently knowing uh, of when to determine, when to declare to the to the edge 100%, so you don't get beat on those uh, on those um, <coughs> counter moves inside after defenders have gone to the uh, gone to the edge. Something definitely to work on, but nothing to panic about whatsoever.